Right everyone, Red Fletcher here, Merry Christmas. Yeah, so this is day four of my advent calendar, my self-defence items advent calendar. Uh, I was going to say, it all seems weird saying uh, Merry Christmas this early in the year. But um, if I've started the fucking um, <laughs> advent calendar, I'm going to have to keep doing it. So anyway, advent calendar, every item is based on self-defence EDC type stuff. So it, just stuff I think you lot would be interested in. You've seen most of it before, but obviously people who haven't watched my channel wouldn't have seen it. Uh, and you may not have seen all this stuff, but um, yeah, it's all stuff I would recommend. So, day four. Let's have a look what we've got in day four. So, day four is a knife. So, this is a... I think it's a sand red, isn't it? Yeah, San, I think it's called, so a lot of these are referred to as the San Renmu um, Series 9 knives. Um, this is the 9052MUCGHT4. But this is a modded knife. Uh, it's a very good knife in its own right, but it's not legal carry. The only problem this knife has is the blade's too long. So what this represents is getting hold of knives that you like and, ground, and grinding down the blade to make it legal carry. I would highly recommend you doing that. The problem with a lot of legal carry knives, they have tiny little handles. Look at this San Renmu here. Brilliant knife, but the handles really only just big enough. Now if you look at this San Renmu, look at the size of the handle. So what I'd recommend you doing, doesn't have to be this particular knife, but there'll be a link in the description to Amazon.com. That's the only place I can find where you can get this now. But I would say if you're in England and you want a copy of this, it's $17. If you've got an American friend, ask them to buy it for you, send it to you. You know, you send them a couple of quid for doing it. But yeah, I would recommend getting hold of this knife is a really good one, or any knife. I've found quite a few really good slip joints. What it is, is you want to find large slip joint knives. And if the blade is too long, you grind it down, but then you'll have a really, really good sized knife. So this is a slip joint. It's about two mil under three inch blade, so perfectly legal. You can shape it any way you want. And I used a cheap belt grinder. The, I think the belt grinder itself cost about 50 quid, something like that. Maybe not even that. Uh, this has also got a couple of tools on it. Screwdriver, bottle opener, and a gutting hook, or whatever you want to call it. And a glass breaker. So... You do get a really good handle doing that. So, especially if you've got bigger hands, with a lot of those, you know, Swiss Army pen knives, all of those knives, yeah, they're legal carry, but they've got tiny little um, handles, really. So, yeah, look for large slip joint knives, as long as they've not got a lock, and then you just grind the blade down to the size you need, and there you go, you've got your own custom made legal carry knife a really dice, uh, with a really decent sized handle yeah that's day four then making your own legal carry knives All right so there is a link to that like I said but it's from the American uh, Amazon but as I said ask an American mate to buy it for you and send you it and then you know you pay for it obviously yeah so I would recommend doing that, especially if you've got big hands or you just want a knife with a decent side handle that's legal carry. Cheap as well, $17. Because you you can buy a knife like this, but it would probably cost two, maybe three times that much to buy. And it's the ones I know of, I've just got a blade in, nothing else. No thumb studs, 
you know, that single handed opening and everything. Right, so that's day four. I'll see you in day five. See you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.